Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Randy Valentine. Relationship first, single second. Oracle Cards come out where needed. Let's see, maybe I'll come back for that later. There's like a floating card there. All right, let's start with what we got. Go for it. Now, the situation you're a part of with your partner, is that where we're going? That's where the lover's card pops in. Not that you don't love your partner, but I feel like what they're relating to in this reading, the situation, you love this situation. Uh, I'm getting a very strong family feel for so for most of you it's going to be like a family situation and you're, there's a lot of love involved here a lot and as you're going into it there's a lot of see I don't feel like it's a lot of possibilities I feel like there's a lot of things going on when I'm seeing these I feel like there's a lot of things going on I don't feel like it's choices I feel like it's talking about all these things going on throughout this time whatever you're dealing with Seems like there's a lot going on. But it's not so much about choosing one, it's just like what, you know what I mean? Everything's happening. Everything's happening. Now, you're getting into this situation here. Whatever's going on, there's a lot going on. Like, I'm getting it over and over again. They're reminding me there's a lot, a lot going on now. Your challenge position is the Ace of Cups. And I'm feeling like there's so much going on that it becomes, I'm, I'm getting like you're doing a lot. You're doing, a, it's just like one to the next, one to the next, one to the next. And it's kind of like, the challenge is to really maybe, like you can do, you can do everything you want still. But it's weird because there's a slight little choice thing going on. Like, what do you want the most? Center the majority of your energy on that, what you want the most. And don't go overboard on the other things. Because I still feel like you're going to do all these things. You have all these things going on. You're going to do all these things. I feel like you've already predetermined this. You're going to do all these things. But even, th even that being the situation, choose what's the most important and concentrate the majority of your energy there. Still do everything like you've decided you were gonna, but just like, don't go overboard in these other situations. This is your challenge. Because I feel like the way it's going as it is, you're gonna kind of divide your energy up and you're gonna do a lot for each situation. And the one that you really wanna do, the one that means the most to you, you're not gonna have as much time with you. You're kind of cheating yourself out of the joy you could have here. Everything will still work out either way. It's just, I feel like you could enjoy it immensely more, concentrating it most energy on one spot, and then I still feel like you're gonna do all these things anyway, but just making it more minimal on these less important things. Less important. Because I'm getting going forward here too. Like, you're, you're definitely dedicated to the whole situation. There's a lot of love here for you. You're dedicated to it is what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, your partner, on the other hand, they heard, I feel like they're getting right into it. Getting right into it, they feel like there's a lot. But I feel like they're, I get they're kind of, they're kind of supportive. What does that mean? They're going along with it, but they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to help you divvy it up. I feel like they're trying to be supportive, but I'm getting kind of like, uh, they're trying to help you f figure out figure out how to do this, how to make things work out. 
because I feel like it starts it, like this this is before it starts it may be even during but I feel like they're trying to help you navigate the waters and there is support here but as it gets in there there's a lot going on and I'm feeling like they feel like they this is way too much you can handle it that's true but your partner's feeling like it's way too much way too much and there's so much the abundance it's ironic for abundance to pop in here because it's usually a supportive card and I feel like they're seeing a lot of benefit that can come from all this but there's so much to do at the same time and they're regretting that they're regretting that they got involved with it to this level <laughs> that's what I'm getting because I feel like your partner's like oh this is way too much this is way too much now the challenge card for your partner is to stay involved to look at the bigger picture if you're able to do it this way where you're centering most effort on the main thing that you want and diminishing the others while still keeping them in play I'm feeling like the two of you together can work together very well in this because the challenge for your partner is to stay involved and just to stick with what they already wanted. Stick with what they already agreed to. Because I feel like there's going to be a need or a want or a desire, should I say, to kind of back off and step out of it a bit. Their challenge is to stay, stay completely involved. Because I'm getting this moves forward. Whichever way you choose, if you're going to divvy it all up equally or center most of your energy on one and then do less for each other, everything else. Either way, I feel like everything happens really fast. To your partner, it seems like everything happens really fast, but it does work out. The question is, does it work out because you do the majority of it or does it work out because they're keeping up with the Joneses here, keeping up with the situation? Because I feel like they're a little overwhelmed at one point at least. At least at one point they're overwhelmed. But I, hopefully they, I feel like with encouragement from you, they can keep involved. They can keep right up to it. They're going to be a lot happier if they, if they stay with what they previously planned to do in the sense of like the, their level of involvement. You can worry with, it, with them, you know, if you're going to center it most of the energy in one spot and less than the rest or I'll, whatever you're going to do, that's up to you is what I feel. But like them staying involved, it, they're going to be a lot happier if they just keep their level of involvement what they previously expected it to be. Because it is going to work out, and it's going to everything's going to go really fast, especially to them. It's going to seem very, very, very fast. But I do feel like it's it, like you got the success here. It's going to work out. Um, I I do feel though you have to be the one that keeps an eye on things. You might have to keep your partner engaged. They're just kind of like, to, for this to work out the easiest, if you keep your partner engaged, that'll be the easiest connection here, the easiest way to the end for a happy ending. Because as I'm getting your partner, like they're overcoming the difficulties, but I'm getting this through your influence. They're overcoming those difficulties, those challenges. And at the end, they're, 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 they're making it past it. The good thing is like, they're getting over it. They're, they're moving through these obstacles. They're overcoming them. But the reason, like the fact that they're actually doing that is making the situation better for them. It's helping them realize how much they can help, how, how much easier this whole situation can be, how easier it makes your life. Because I feel like your partner's staying involved. It's, it's important. This is good, especially for your relationship. If they keep involved and they keep helping you. Now, there's this. I feel like this is the kicker to this whole thing, and I shouldn't laugh, but it's kind of funny. I don't feel like they they do as well as you would do in some of these situations. I just feel like you might be doing better than they would. Because I'm getting the end results from your partner's influence. You're happy, you're thankful for that, but it's not as optimal as if you just did it yourself. But they're telling me this is this is good for you, this is good for your partner. If this keeps evolved in this level, like I feel like you could hash out what they actually do and what they don't. You could like maneuver this better going forward. But they're saying like I'm just getting like this isn't what helps you is like it's not optimal to what you would do if you were doing it on your own, but I feel like you have more time to enjoy it. And that's like that's the trade-off. It may not be the exact outcome you normally would have had but you're having more time to enjoy it. This is making your partner feel a lot more valued, a lot better about the situation. It does work out. They did feel like 
overwhelmed at least once, but I do feel like it does work out. This is really good for the both of you. This seems very cut and dry. Is that good? All right. I feel like this, the more majority of this reading here, this part, is just to say, you know, if, if you concentrate your efforts on the one thing mostly that you want and minimal on the rest, because I do feel like you're going to do everything, but if you do that minimal version of the other things, you're going to be a lot happier. Your partner's going to be a lot happier. Everything's just going to be more enjoyment for you. And you'll be happy in the long run. It'll be fine. You still may end up with this, like, oh, it could have been better feel, but you'll, set, you'll have more time to enjoy it and soak it in. Let me pick this up and go on to the next. So let's do Sagittarius singles. Messages for Sagittarian singles. Empowering messages that help them move forward in the way that they want to go. Help them see things that are happening to help them plan. And that was already a thing here. Let's try one more time. I don't think we're done yet. Maybe we are. Sagittarian singles. Empowering information. They don't really want to go that far, so all right, we'll put them all. I do shuffle them a bit before I start the read, so I probably still have that Sagittarian energy. Let's do these. Supportive information for Sagittarius single. Face down cards. Five oracle cards total, though. Now, <laughs> are you going in the same direction or different directions? This is a good question. Because as we get into this, sorry, somebody just drove by my house really slow and I'm out here in the country, so usually people whip by. It got my attention. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, not that that's a bad thing. You're coming into this. Is this a social thing? I kind of get like there's a social connection that kind of gets a little bit close in the sense of like I feel like things are going forward. Things are getting engaged. Things are going into a physical level to some extent. <clears throat> At the very least, you're having a very intimate moment where you both know the, the chemistry is there, at the very least. But I feel like there's a physical moment happening here. You're connected very, socially in a very good way. That Two of Cups moment happens. But I'm getting, when this happens, due to the social connection, is it you or them? Them. They decide that this isn't a good idea. They got this, there's something, there's something better trumps the two of cups in the sense of like it landed right on it like that. So, and I'm, what I'm seeing here in the environment is the four of swords. Like they're not feeling confident that this is a good idea for whatever reason. Now, that's them. You, you feel like these obstacles, whatever they are, can be overcome you got the number seven of wands here and your thoughts are the knight of cups you are like no 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 we can overcome this now what is this because is it them or you you Sagittarius three of wands I feel whoever this person is, they don't understand your energy just yet. I feel like they have a view of you that isn't really connected with who you really are. Like they don't understand the dedication. They don't seem to get it. They seem to think that you kind of move from one to the next quite easily. I don't feel like that's true. I feel there might be like some misperception about because I, I, I'm, I'm getting like you don't tell the world everything and that might just be misconstrued by this person because they're filling in the blanks on their own. So I think they have an un... 
what do you want to say? It's it's not completely developed viewpoint, and I feel like they might have filled in some blanks on their own that aren't correct. Because I'm getting, they're saying the past here has something to do with it. They've watched you in the past, and I feel like they got an opinion that's not right. Because I feel like you keep things private, and they, they're filling in the blanks themselves on why things happen, but it's not, it's not correct. It's just not how it is. Now, the chariot is off and running on this reading. It's, it's the top card. Something's happening here. Something's moving forward. Now, I'm getting like, it, I feel like it's a delayed reaction because I feel like very so, it's a very social connection here. This, the connection between you and this person is still there. And the fact that you're feeling this romantic interest and acknowledged it, even though the other person, it seems like they're, they're saying no, but they're kind of stuck. They, they have these feelings, they're not moving on them. And they're not, they're like giving you the red light on the whole situation. But I'm getting because you're connected socially, the, the chariot is still off and running here. The thing is, they're warning, it's going to take a bit. You got, you only got three pentacle cards here, to be fair. But they're in key positions, and the ones, let me just look here. Yeah, see, I, the eight is like, it's not quite ready. It's kind of like, if we're going to use a baking reference for whatever reason. If you're baking a cake, it's got that soft, wet center still going on there. It's not, you can't take it out yet. It's going to be, it's not going to be quite right. That's kind of what you got going on here. Um, but it's also like using that same cooking analogy, baking, if I will. Like if you slam something, that cake could fall and you could end up ruining it anyway. You're kind of in that phase. The eight here is telling me it's like, it's not quite done, but you got to be careful and stop. Don't check on it too much because it could fall and you could ruin it. It's that. And meditation brings answers is telling me you might want to just pull back and just look at the situation from the outside. Just I, I, Literally, they're telling me, cool your jets. <laughs> that's what they're telling me. So I hope that's not, um, that's not rude because I don't mean it to be. But they're just saying you got to relax. Just see it from the outside. Don't, don't put too much pressure on the situation and realize it's not quite ready yet. Because I'm getting, see, we got some face down cards. And then one of them is for the environment. In the future, the social connection continues. You got the Nine of Cups. You're, the, it's a good social connection is what I'm getting. The face down card is, yes. But it's, it's like it's face down saying, yes. It's going, like this person is feeling for you. But it's face down, like, I, face down makes me feel like you're not going to see it. You're not going to see this from them. They're feeling it, but they're not acknowledging it. Not to you. And this goes into the future. Like there's, there's a period of time here where it seems like to you, it's like they're not really responding or going in that romantic direction. They put the red light on the situation and it looks like they're sticking to that. I feel like it looks like when this is face down, like they don't really, like they had that emotional moment Excuse me, but it was a fleeting thing. But I'm, I'm getting that's not the truth. They're just holding their emotions back. <laughs> I had to cheat. I cheated. I looked at the other card that's face down. Because um, <laughs> I was like, I was, it was killing me. I'm like, what is over here? It's a good card. Um, but it goes with the ending. I'm seeing that. This, the whole thing goes together. I don't know why. I was just like, what is under that card? I want it out. <laughs> um... Basically, it's that they're ready. They're just questioning it. After I just decided to like drag y'all through the mud about it, but <laughs> um, they are feeling it. They're not. They're not. It's face down. They're not acknowledging it to you. They're starting to get to the part where they're realizing they're ready to try. But that's also face down. These both of these cards are face down. They have these feelings. They're getting to the part where they're almost ready. But they're holding it back because they feel like they're not going to tell you until they're honestly ready to actually take a step forward. Now, before I get too far, because there's three cards at the end. I mean, the two of them are pentacles, so you might not be shocked to find out this is a slow-moving energy. Um, it's it's going to take a bit to build it, but it's dependable because they're ready. It takes a while, but like, it's kind of like how this moment here clicked in 
and then you had to wait and wait and wait and wait until they're finally ready to make that first step and they're kind of holding it back from you. But the reason I'm getting they're holding it back from you is because they realize you're excited and they don't want to like say, they don't want to come towards you and be like, I'll be ready to, uh, like I want to start something with you next month. <laughs> like they don't want to do that to you. So they're not, they're not telling you they're ready until they're actually like, it's next month and they're like, I'm ready to start dating more. And you're, you're going to become conducive with that, but they're ready. They're, they're already at that spot where they're like, yes, next week we can go on a date or maybe this weekend or whatever. Like they're already there, if that makes sense. That's why they're holding it back because they want to be at that point where they're like not telling you I'm ready next month. <laughs> they're going to tell you next month when they're actually ready to start, if that makes sense. I think you get me. I think you get it. So it starts off the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles with the big happy changes. I'm getting this as long term. I'm getting this as this person is cementing into your life slowly but surely. It's going to take a long while. It's going to go slowly. It's going to build slowly, but it's a dependable build. Uh, I, I like to use the brick house analogy with the Knight of Pentacles. Every brick is like this person builds one brick by one brick. Everyone is particularly put where they're supposed to, where it's supposed to be. It's lined up perfectly. It's got just enough mortar to keep it where it's supposed to be. It's slowly built, but it's so dependable that it's, it's, almost indestructible. So that's that's kind of what you got going for you here is a big happy changes. It's gonna this is gonna go forward. You are gonna get what you want. It's just gonna go slowly. Which is very dependable. The thing is for example when you get it like the house is built, the house is so secure. Like that's that's the benefit of here. It could be so slow that it's kind of painful. It might be a little painful for you for, for how slow it's going, but every step is dependable. Everything, once you have it, it is locked in and yours. That's the thing. That's the trade-off for this one. But it, I feel like this is a good way to go out. I feel like that's good. I mean, better something dependable than something and you, that you're just kind of left on your own again. Because I feel like that's kind of what you're looking for anyway. So that if this reading is hitting, I feel like that should be a good thing anyway. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.